Hey man, uh, LB Wars time here with LB Foreign. Yeah, nah. One of the dopest in the city. But we're just going to jump right into the interview right now. Welcome to the LB Wars time interview session and everything like that. I feel comfortable. How you doing, man? Thank you for having me, man. I'm straight, bro. I'm good. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, uh, tell us more about Foreign, man. Tell, more, tell who LB Foreign is for those who don't know who LB Foreign really is. Shit, man. Something special. I ain't going to hold you. Um, some unimaginable and i'm not just saying that that's why i'm foreign because you can't really pinpoint mm -hmm. i mean what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna say i'm everywhere but i do it you know I mean uniquely like perfect in every way so yeah. um i'm definitely something my country been waiting for my city been waiting for yeah so you know it's only a matter of time so where you originally from originally from like originally from mm -hmm. um liberia west africa yeah. you feel me um grew up in west um in the county yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm from the city and from the soil. So yeah, everything you hear is, you know what I mean, is me. It's authentic. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what was it like? Uh, you being a young Liberian kid coming from Liberia to America, trying to transition and fit in with the American culture. What was it like? I mean, for me, um, it was difficult like any other childhood, bro. Um, mm -hmm. kids gonna tease, you gonna get into fights yeah. in the hood. So that's how it is. You just, you know what I mean, you got you gotta fight your way. You gotta fight everything, bro. It's a battle. You got, you got to earn in sports, you got to earn your spot, you got, it's, it's, it's like sports, bro, it's life, so, me looking at it now, it wasn't nothing, like, it's just regular stuff, so, yeah, so, uh, let's talk music, man, yeah, sure, let's talk music, you just dropped the album, you just got everything going through yeah, right now, pick wall, hottest yeah. shit in the city, man, yeah, so, but I just want to know, when you first started music, as a young kid, right, yeah, how old were you when you first started, shit, um, I was a little older than most, bro. Most people start like at 16, 17, while they in high school. I started yeah. out of high school, bro. So, I mean, yeah, I started a little bit mature. Mm -hmm. So, in me, I feel as though I was a late bloomer. So, that's what made me like work harder, too. Yeah. And me and my work ethic, like, yo, I got to catch up to the rest of these guys. So, mm -hmm. um, it ain't do me no bad because um, standing out now and like most of the people I started with, I don't, I don't hear from them. So, oh, man. I feel like I'm doing right. Yeah, man. For me, uh, for me, I started this shit like a few times ago. I mean, a few years ago when I first started doing like the whole blog and things right now. Yeah. But uh, I just want to know the kind of songs you make, the kind of music you put out there. How do you describe? The, how do you describe your sound and your kind of music you make? Man, listen, I'm a um, I'm a Gemini, bro. So yeah. I'm very complex, man. There's only a few like don't don't come around like every decade or so. You know, I mean, you had the Pox, you know, had a, um, the Kanye's, the 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 um. What else, man? You had a bunch of honorary mention Donald Trump. You know I mean, yeah. you had him, but you know, he's a Gemini too. So yeah. that's how it is. Um, it's complex, bro. I'm, I'm, full, I'm full of um, different emotions. So I can rap, I can spit, as yeah. well as um, I can harmonize, I can sing, I can get emotional. I do a little bit of Afro because I'm cultured, so I, I know yeah. it's my right to do it. Okay. So um, it's a little bit of everything, man. You're not going to really um, understand form until you hear like me entirely. That's why you know, I was so happy to drop this project so people can understand it. Yeah. You know I mean? So we know you as LB for LB Philly Foreign. Yes, sir. Right? When you first started, that's the name everybody knew you back. Yeah. And you changed the name to LB Foreign. Yeah. Why LB Foreign though? Why just LB Foreign, not LB Philly Foreign? I mean, you always gotta stand out, man. And you know, mm -hmm. when you trailblazing shit, people gonna, you know what I mean, copy. Yeah. You know, I ain't, you mean, people gonna copy, so I just try my best to, you know I mean, stand out. And the thing about it is, I love that name because mm -hmm. nobody had it. You feel me? With the L I B and the foreign, nobody really had that combination. A lot of people had foreign in this, foreign in that, but, mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah, I just stuck with that because nobody really had it. Okay. You know? I like that. And uh, we're gonna jump right back into the album, right? Yeah. You named the album Pitwall, right? Yes, sir. Why Pitwall? Man, it's a lot of different meaning, man. But um, personally, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's dedicated to my cousin. Um, yeah. You know, rest his soul. You feel me? Man. Untimely death. So I feel as though that's somebody that um, supported me for a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, throughout my journey before I even started rapping. So I just wanted to dedicate um, that. And it gave me a lot of emotion going into it, too. It gave me a yeah. lot of drive. So I just wanted to, you know what I mean, pay some type of homage to him. You know what I mean? Dude, just don't let it slide in vain like that. Because he meant a lot to me. So, yeah. yeah. Hey man, uh, rest in peace to your cousin, right? Yeah, uh, RP Pitt. <clears throat> so, I just want you to briefly, I just want you to say, uh, cause you have you have a song on the album called uh, Stucky. Yeah. Right. For those who are unfamiliar with that term, 
why this why this man of uh, Stucky when you say Stucky because uh, a lot of people don't a lot of people really not from our culture because when you from Philly yeah we speak different we say things I different I different so the thing, the thing about it, you already know like Liberian we um we America's bastards bro so it's like um all our English are not broken like yeah. like American English is just broken down so Stucky is just, you stuck somewhere you feel yeah. me but Stucky like jail yeah. you know I mean Stucky can be you know what I mean um you stuck in a situation you just stuck but yeah. mainly it's for jail incarceration. Okay. So when I say free up, my brother ain't stuck either. I mean, you know, yeah. it's free When you when you doing music and things like that, you already got the music done. You got everything going good. Yeah. You got fans responding to the music. When you on that performance stage, right? Before you get on the performance stage, is there any rich? Is there any things you do just to get yourself in that mood, just to get rid of like stress and all the things like that before hitting the stage? Bro, I hold. I just hold my breath and just pray. Yeah. Let me just pray. I put God first and everything, man. So I just like I I know I rehearse. Mm-hmm. You feel me? God, you know I mean preparation, man. God rehearse. Once you yeah. rehearse, you do sound check. Every, everything else left to God and the time He gave you, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just leave it up there. Though. Ain't nothing too spooky. Okay. Yeah. But do you have like a uh, like in the library entertainment right now, right? Yeah. Industry, like the music wise, everything's like that. Do you have any favorite artists that you think you like? You really want to, you really want to work with? Other than yourself, other than yourself, yeah. Shit, um, ah, uh, that's a that's a it's people that I would like to work with again, mm-hmm. which is um Mozzie. yeah, um, Mazi Shout out Mazi. Um, shout out Maz. In the industry, man, I just look for like people then that I can relate to. You feel me? I feel like our lane mm-hmm. is 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 you know. Um, it's not too clear because a lot of people then they jumping all over the base. Not too many thorough men in that lane that actually represent what they talking about. So you know I mean I don't I don't just want to just do music with anybody just because they speaking Kolo or they hip hop track. Or I actually you know I mean people I want to work with now that people I've been listening to before I even started doing hip hop track. Or, you feel me? Just to pay homage and you know. But for the yeah, bro. So um. Yeah, I can't really think about anybody on the top of the head now, but shout out Mozzie. He the first that um, came to the top of my yeah. head, man. Shout out to Mozzie. Yeah, yeah. Mozzie I, did, I, I did some with Buck. I would definitely like to do more, but you know what yeah. I mean? Um, yeah, people like that, man. How did that record come about? Like, Stucky, because we see you had uh, you had, you had a Philly artist. Yeah, right? shout uh, out Rico. Rico, you had Rico on the track. You had Buck in the track. Yeah. And you, uh, I'm going to give you the prop right now, right? You're one of the first artists in America that still represent the LRB flag. Yeah. That pulled the artist on the song. And make them speak librarian native, like they say librarian English. Yeah. I'm gonna give you that respect right now while you stay yeah, here. Bro. But how was it like? What was the creative process like making that record with two different artists nah, the plus thing, yourself? The thing about it, man, we've been doing this shit since like school, bro. Before I even started rapping, you feel mm-hmm. me? I had librarian, um, American Judah speaking Kolo, librarian beginning to speak. I mean, American beginning speaking Kolo. So it's not nothing new to me. So when mm-hmm. the beginning guy in the studio, it was just no bro, like just. You say this, he's from Southwest. Oh, yeah. So he's been around a lot. a little, you feel me? Yeah. And um, I'm definitely impressed with him too because he came in that studio. I ain't sent him the record. He just came in and did what he was supposed to do. So uh, artistry wise, definitely impressed with him. Okay. With Buck, mm-hmm. man, shit. Me and my, it's, it's definitely the team, you feel me? Because we go brainstorming like, yo, what we going to do to like make this amp up? And I feel like he was the perfect person yeah. because in the lane we in and in like what I'm following up, He's the person that really trailblazed that for Philly. You yeah. feel me? So, um, I was just happy to have him on that too, man. It wasn't just one way. It was definitely like, you know, the record was already there. It's just the piece of yeah. puzzle together now to get it to go. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. It wasn't it's much cool. doing to it. Yeah. I'm talking about Stucky. It's Those that I'm going to be locked up. So, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it got it a lot of much to it. Yeah. And, and uh, you got you got JL some on the record called I Own, right? Shut up, cuz. Right, you got, you got, I think you guys were speaking crime from the start of the song, and uh, you got a song called I Own, and uh, what's your relationship with J.L. song like, and what was it like getting him on that track? The thing about it, man, it was like, it started with the beat, man, shout out to um, Josias, man, that's mm-hmm. the um, producer, he don't, he's yeah. a quiet guy, he don't really yeah. try to, but um, everybody been talking about his beat, so I gotta shout mm-hmm. him up, man. It started with him. Once we got the vibe of the beat, it was um, traditional, man. So I already, like, as an artist, you know where you're supposed to go with it. Yeah. And I wanted a feature that made sense. I could have did it myself, but I just wanted a feature that made sense. And at yeah. the time, it was like, it felt like a family thing. So I just hollered cuz to just, you know what I mean, put his love, you know what I mean, put his flair on it, bro. And yeah. I feel like he did it justice. You know what I mean? Shout out to him, because 
shit is a beast, man. Right, you know man. mean, you don't you don't gotta be crying to really accept it. You know what I mean, but you know, that's where it started from. Well, yeah, speaking of family, man, we know you got you got you got kids. Yeah, and you got you got mom, you got dad, you got everybody around you that guide you and give you just give you parental advice, motivation, yeah. That just keep you around. We just want to know how do you balance your music with uh family and things like that, or all the things you got in between. How do you balance your music with that? Bro, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit been the hardest part of the career, bro, because mm. it's easy to chase passion, bro. Once you got it, like, talent it ain't about nothing, but to focus on personal life and seeing a vision of what people closest, to, even if people closest to you don't see, mm -hmm. they trust it, but they don't see it, you yeah. feel me? Because ain't none of that been happening around them. Okay. You, ain't, you, don't, you know any millionaires? I know, exactly. I know wet ones, not black ones. You feel me? Like, you know anybody, like, you know you don't rub shoulder with that and kink, like, you, you don't. So it's, it's hard to see that. Especially in the lane we in. So, um, with the family, man, it just, it's not easy. I ain't gonna say it's um, easy, but, you know, my passion is what keeps, like, it going because they know, like, I'm not gonna give up my dream. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know who I'm doing it for. Yeah. So, it's just a matter of time and understanding. And I know, like, the progression from when I started mm -hmm. to now. So, they see it too. So, sometimes it's like, all right, it ain't there yet, but mm -hmm. we know, like, he carrying it in a certain way, so that's a fact. The you know, family always comes first. Shout out to the family, shout out to the family man. Yeah. For me, for me, I don't know how people are gonna distract to be a mama boy or whatever they call me, <laughs> but I gotta keep my mama by my side all the time. That's, that's why. Man. That's why right now I think I'm stuck in PA. Okay. But I'm trying to go out, but we stick with the family because I. That's how I grew up. I grew up with family. Right. But uh, well, yeah, all this complaining about uh, promoters, DJs. All the people not getting the song out there. If you mm. could change one thing within the library music industry, yeah. why would it be? Why would it be? And why? Shit, man, tell you the truth, man, it called me crazy, man. But it's the way I see it now, not much I would change yeah. at the moment because, like, I feel like our people make it hard so you can be that star you yeah. need to be. You feel me? Like, they're going, they molding you in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I don't want to bring out no other name, but for example, Meek. You feel me? Meek been like the number one artist out of Philly for a long time running. Yeah. You feel me? And he been carrying it well despite like all the ups and downs because yeah. he been molded to be that person. You feel me? So I saw his though, um, all the all the non attention like it makes you work harder, bro. It makes you like, all right, I'm gonna work harder to gain that ear. And mm -hmm. I've, I've noticed over the years, like once you do a little by little, it's like condition. People mm -hmm. gonna start to understand it, and I feel like it's happening. So I don't, I won't change nothing, man. They keep, they make it harder. We're gonna go harder, bro. And that's what's up, though. Yeah. And uh, another thing too, right? Uh, what advice, right? Mm -hmm. Will you give somebody that's trying to follow in your footsteps? Yeah, we know like you started as a, you started, you started up doing playing football back in high school. Yeah. Coming into music. Probably. Now you wanna do well known like being an artist. When people call in, when people call in like top five or right now, yeah. your name gotta be in that mention. So I just wanna know if a kid trying to jump in your footsteps, right? Yeah. What advice will you give them? Shit, man, ain't gonna be another one like me. I tell you that, but it could be like them. You yeah. feel me? Um, everything I went through, like, just shaped me to like all the failures, all the sports failure. Because I really thought I was gonna win at that. So yeah. everything I failed in, all the um discipline they taught us. That's why I try to apply to what I do now. But I would just say, man, um, bro, just work. It's all in the work, bro. Yeah. Like you go up, you come down. You can't, you you can't make, you can make somebody accept you. Yeah. When you when you just work when you care about something you show your passion they yeah. gonna follow through and I so found that over the years like everybody's around me that's cause you know what I mean they see how much I put in it like all right we're gonna assist you you mm -hmm. feel me so it's all about your work don't be mad when people not paying attention cause everything not for everybody that's you feel fact. me once it's for you you got you touch a few people you can touch another and just keep it going so yeah. that's all I'll tell them man don't get frustrated just keep working all right. you know what I mean that's what's up man and uh, I just wanna say is that in the upcoming work. That we should be expecting for or just the album man keep streaming pit world man if you mm -hmm. haven't yet spin it tell your favorite dj to spin it yeah um it's always work coming bro i ain't gonna hold you like i'm ready to drop another one but you know what i mean sometimes you gotta you gotta let the um how you cut it the numbers build a little bit we got videos to drop so mm -hmm. you know i mean we got we got a long way to go and a tour pit yeah. world tour you know what i mean we gotta close yeah. it up so we gotta touch the people each state every state they listen to us and yeah gotta oh. touch them. so like we listen to the album right yes sir it's emotions going through, just a lot of different emotions, yeah. happy, sad, just chill, and a whole lot of different things, right? Yeah. And uh, you working with uh, with Monica Reed, 
which is one of the best female Shout artists I think she is. Too, Monica Rhee, yes. Right? She one of the best female artists back in Philly. That I can pull I can pull when I name an artist and female artists in Philly, she's gonna be on that list. Heavy. Why was it like after she lost in her brother, which is your cousin? Yeah. Why was it like doing making that record? And that's the first track on the album. And for the lot of emotions, because I see you talking about you wanna make some other fuel. Yeah, same way you feel, just the way your mom cried, just the way his mom cried, and all things like that. Why was it like making that record? I mean, anybody, like, whoever dealt with death like that, like, I literally, like, see my cousin lying down, bro. Mm -hmm. So, imagine all the emotions you're going through. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I could channel it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That record, like, that was one of the hardest records to write. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm -hmm. Like, Mitch will tell you, I was in there for days, 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 because you want it, because at the same time, making a record, Mm -hmm. You can say anything on it, but you just gotta balance it. So it was, it was, it was hard, but I it mean, it's something that had to get done. So that's why, um, what's the name? I'm just happy it got done in that way, man. And she was like the perfect person. I was trying to find out how to finish the record. Yeah. And I'm like, um, do you got something for it? Like that. Like you know what I mean? Like once you emo like artists is emotions you feel me so once she's emotional i guess she laid the um perfect piece man and that was it all right man we already talked music we talked the album we talked we talked where you from everything like that yes sir now uh is there anything you want to add on to uh why we didn't talk about nah man just um make sure y'all streaming make yeah. sure y'all checking it the, um, there's only 30 minutes of your time if you get a chance just streaming in the bathroom when you're going to work just streaming yeah. music, man. That's all I ask, man. Everything else will fall in place. So thank you. If you already been streaming, been streaming, thank you. Yeah. And follow me on all social media platforms, man. L I B F O R E I G N. You can't miss it. YouTube, on Spotify, Apple Music, Twitter, L I B Form. Yeah. Thank you for your time, man. I appreciate the show, everything. You know. Now you just tell the camera where we at right now. You already know. We at Food G's. You know what I yeah. mean? Shout out L I B Raw Star. And that's to our thorough baby form. And this bitch, yeah. I'm going yeah, to get cursed. Shout out to JBS too for giving yeah, us the man. spot. Everything. Shout out everybody. Appreciate that. Football. You play football, right? Oh, yeah, I play sports. All right. Did you go broke? Did I go pro? Yeah. No. Uh, I went pro. I went to the beer. I just played with you, bro. Fuck no. Nah, All right, let's go. Morning and action. Yeah, we know like you started as a you started you started up.